Hello everybody, it's been a long time since I have last done a video and as I mentioned in the community post, the reason for this was that I had to deal with some exams and now that I'm done with them, I can restart doing videos. For today, I decided to present the problem D from yesterday's code forces round, grid 00100. This problem is an interesting constructive problem where we have to create a binary matrix such that the value of this formula given in the statement is as small as possible. Now, if we are looking at the formula, we can see that we need to minimize a sum of squares. And as you may know, a sum of squares is uh, as small as possible when the values which have to be raised at the second power are as small as possible. And this will be the first observation we need to make in order to get to the solution. Basically, we need to ensure that we minimize the maximum value of sums. I mean the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value of row sums. And the maximum value minus minimum value for the column sums. Now I'm going to show you that there are two possible cases and you will be able to construct a matrix quite easily. So we have two integers, n and k, and the number of ones in the matrix must be equal to k. Now I'm going to split the problem into cases, as I mentioned. If k is a multiple of n, which is k mod n is equal to zero, then we can create a matrix such that the number of ones in each line is equal and as well as the number of ones in each column. So we would get to the difference equal to zero. Otherwise, if the k mod n is not zero, then the difference will always be two. And I'm going to explain you why. The reason for this uh, statement is simple. Since I mentioned that we need to minimize the difference between the numbers in those square differences, we can now balance the number of ones we add in each column and each row. Long story short, if we have k ones, which we have to distribute among to the n lines, our goal will always be to add an one to align with the least number of ones. Why is that true? Because we thus end up having a balanced number of ones and the, the difference will always be two. Let me give you a real example. Let's say k is eight and n is five. Now we are going to end up with something like this. Two, 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 one, one. As you can see, the sum is equal to 8, and the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value is going to be 1. And if we do it in the same way in the columns, then the difference is going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2. It's quite easy to see that we can use the pattern here for the columns as well, because we can use the same greedy approach we used for the lines, in order to get the number of ones we need to add on the columns as well, since it's quite easy to observe that if we add to some square ij, then the number of ones in the line i and the number of ones in the column j is going to be increased. Now, let's get to the implementation. The implementation part will basically contain the finding of the pattern like how to find this pattern. And then since the constraints are quite small, we can just sort the columns and uh, find the what columns where we had to add. Now I'm going to move to my environment to explain this approach. As you can see here, the first array represents the amount of ones we need to add in line i. The second array is for the columns. We need the amount of ones we still need to add in column i. The OK array 
represents if for some line i, the value at that position is one or zero. The comparator is a criteria used for sorting in order to help me find the columns with the biggest number of ones left. Now, let's get to the actual solution. As you can see here, if k uh, is a multiple of n, this statement is going to be false and the answer will be zero. Otherwise, it's going to be two. Now, in this for loop, I assign the values for each line and each column. And for the first uh, k mod n columns and lines, we are going to have an extra one, as I have mentioned in the sketchpad. Now, for each line, we are left with choosing the highest vi values and assign one to them. Since the constraints are small, we can just add every line, in the, or in this case, every column, and sort them based on the comparator described before. Now for each column, if uh, it's before the vi, we can, we'll make it one, and we drop the number of ones we are left with. Otherwise, we are going to make it zero. It's quite important to update all the values, otherwise you would end up uh, printing wrong values, even though the approach is correct. Also, this helps us no longer have to use memset or something similar, which would, in many problems, give time limit exceeded. Even though in this problem, as I mentioned, the constraints are small and the number of tests is not big. All we are left to do is to print the values in the array OK for each line and to print another line after each line. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button in order to be the first one to get notifications about the new videos. Also, if you want to share your feedback, please do it in a constructive way in the comments and I'm going to respond to all of them. Until the next time, stay safe, good luck and goodbye.